What's up, everybody? It's Trey Smith, one half of the Blue Bloods College Game Time Podcast. You are on the Hog Heaven playlist, and the stage is officially set. The Arkansas Razorbacks, who are now on an eight-game winning streak, will host the hottest team in the country, the number one team in the country, the Auburn Tigers, Tuesday night at Bud Walton Arena. I believe it'll be the first time that a number one team has been hosted at Bud Walton Man, I just hope that BWA is going crazy. If we could figure out a way to get these old timers out of their seats and just screaming, making a little noise, we know how loud that arena can get. We know how crazy it can be. I'm expecting just mayhem as an environment that the Auburn Tigers are walking into. Um, But let's talk about this game for a second because oddly enough, I think it actually plays into the Razorbacks' favor, even though Auburn is number one, Arkansas is currently unranked. Auburn's on like a 19-game winning streak, I think, while the Razorbacks are on a eight-game winning streak, as I just said. But I think there's some, I don't know, like timing aspects of this game that really are going to help the hogs out. And then on top of that, the fact that they're hosting the game and it's just, it's going to be a just insane environment. I believe for Auburn to have to walk into a hostile environment. But when I think about Auburn and where they're at in their season, they're, I believe 22 and one. Now they lost an overtime game to UConn early in the season. And since then they've just been on a tear But here's the thing. Bruce Pearl isn't trying to go 39 and one, right? He's trying to win a national championship. He's trying to get to a final four and then win it all. In order to do that, he knows that his team has to be peaking at the right time. Right now in the season, this is a perfect time for Auburn to lose a game And for him to go, okay, guys, you can keep doing it your way and we're going to go out and we're going to lose. Or you can do it my way and we get to where we need to go. In other words, it could be one of those losses that could really reset and refocus the team for the final stretch of the season. Um, I don't know. That's just kind of what I'm thinking about this game. I know Bruce Pearl, you know, he's not exactly the most excited when he has to go play at the bud. He hasn't had the most success. I don't think he's beat Musselman since Musselman's first year. Um, And I don't know. It just kind of feels like one of those games that Auburn could walk into and Bruce Pearl's kind of in the back of his mind going, well, we're probably going to lose and it's okay if we lose because I can use this game. It's the perfect time in the season to use this as a reset. Now, don't not not to take anything away from Arkansas. I mean, Arkansas is playing lights out right now. They're playing team ball. They're looking good offensively. They've they've gotten their defense figured out. I mean, really, to me, the one word uh, to sum up what's really flipped the hog season is chemistry. And obviously, we I guess we're just gonna have to get used to this in the Muscleman era, where like we hit a stretch of the season where it's just a complete lull. It's a complete downer lose a few games in a row, and then boom, they start to kick it in gear. But I also think that this game means more to Arkansas because this game could determine, I mean, it could solidify the Razorbacks tournament bid come March. Whereas Auburn, like if they lose this game, it's not really going to cost them even a number one overall seed in the tournament or one of the one seeds, I should say, maybe not number one overall, (coughs) excuse me. But I don't think it's going to cost them a one seed losing this game, especially if Arkansas ends up being a team that gets back in the top 25 and makes the tournament. It's on the road for Auburn. They lose it. It won't be the end of the world for them. And like I said, I think Bruce Pearl could really spin a loss Tuesday night as a way to refocus and reset his team to get down the stretch. Now, the other side to all this that I'm saying, Auburn could come in and absolutely dominate the game. I don't think they will, but man, they've got some hosses and they've got arguably the greatest or the best player in the country right now in Jabari Smith. And that guy's a handful. But if you watched them Saturday, they almost gave it up to Georgia. I mean, like it's a team right now that is like, it's almost like they're, 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 
do for a loss. Like they're trying to lose a game. And I don't know if Bruce Pearl's seeing that and he, he kind of just like, let's just go ahead and get it over. Let's just get a loss. Let's get our second loss of the season. Let's end this incredible win streak that we're on and then reset and refocus. And I think it's just kind of the perfect storm of like the hogs are peaking. The hogs are playing great. The hogs are on an eight game win streak. And really they're playing every week as if we got to win them all to get into the tournament. I'm not saying that's the case. I think if they beat Auburn, they probably solidify their tourney bid and, and, and move themselves off of the bubble uh, as long as they take care of business the rest of the way. But it means a lot more to the Razorbacks, whereas Auburn, they're, they're kind of hitting that point in the season where it's like, okay, we're winning. We're kind of taking it for granted now. We're just kind of going through the motions. Oh, we just almost lost to Georgia. But almost losing a game and losing a game are two totally different things. Whether you almost lost to Georgia, no, you beat them. And as, as far as the players are concerned, like there's not really this hard reset they feel like they have to go through. They just won, which is what they've been doing. And so what happens is to the psyche of a team is they think, oh, as long as we just keep showing up every night, we're going to keep winning. And when you hit that point in the season, the only thing that can really help the coaches reset the team is to lose a game. But from a coach's perspective, you don't want to lose that game too late in the season. And then it derails the potential postseason success that you could have. So this is the perfect spot for Auburn to lose a game, reset, refocus. It's a perfect spot for Arkansas to get that staple, just win of the year. Uh, uh, I mean, this, this could be the type of win for Musselman like it was getting to the Sweet 16 last year where it's just breaking that ice. The number one team's coming into your house. Get that win. Make it nine in a row. Solidify your spot. Back in the top 25, solidify your spot back in the tournament, and then ride the wave the rest of the way. And let's see what happens when we get into the tournament. A couple things I'm watching for are extra possessions. Okay. Can we get offensive rebounds and get extra possessions against Auburn? I think Auburn's going to have to have an off shooting night. If we can figure out a way to keep them out of the paint and just hope that they have an off shooting night, I think that really helps our chances. I think the, the environment the 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 Auburn playing on the road and the type of environment it's going to be does lend itself to them having an off night from behind the arc even though it does feel like every team that plays against the Razorbacks at Bud Walton has like their greatest shooting performance uh, ever but I really just do I think it's a timing thing it's not a schematic thing it's not an X's and O's thing it's just where we're at in the season the flow of the season the feel of it Auburn's like destined for a loss Okay, they almost gave it up Saturday to Georgia, the game they definitely should not have lost. At least losing to Arkansas, you can go, well, that one's not going to come back to bite them that bad down the line, especially if they reset, refocus, and play out the rest of the way. I don't know. So if you're listening still, you're watching, you hung with me this whole time, please hit subscribe first off. Hit it down there. You see the button. And uh, leave me a comment. What do you think? What are you looking forward to out of this game? Do you think that uh, we might be catching Auburn at just the right time? Uh, or, or are they going to reset after that scare against Georgia and come in and, like, you know, take us to the mat? Speaking of mat, Arkansas, strike hard, strike fast, strike first, strike hard, no mercy, Cobra Kai. Please hit subscribe and go Razorbacks.